Does anyone know what reverb and echo are? No, who no. Tell us, Mr. Audio. When you stand on the rim of a canyon and yell, Hello! Hello! And you hear your word a second or so later, that's an example of echo. Essentially, it's the sound that's reflected back to the listener. There can be multiple reflections, as sound bounces off walls, floors, ceilings, and other hard objects. When these reflections arrive very close together, the listener no longer hears a distinct echo. This, then, is reverb, short for reverberation. It's what people hear when they sing in the shower. At one time, studios had rooms called echo chambers, a misnomer since they actually were creating reverb. They had a speaker that played back the sound and a mic to pick up the reflections from the room. Later, springs and also metal plate reverbs were used in studios. Tape recorders were typically used to create actual echo. The studio term for this was slapback. Today, both reverb and echo can be created digitally. When used properly, they can add a live quality to the recording and help in getting a better performance. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.